I've heard people say, I'm not gonna move to LA until I have $10,000 saved up. Well, I moved here with 3,000 and I'm doing just fine. What is up everybody? It's your girl Tyra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. Here on this channel, I create resources for black creatives who want to escape fear and share their creativity with the world without compromising their faith in God, their integrity, their uniqueness, and without breaking the bank. As you may know, I live in Los Angeles and I post about my experience living here. But today we're going to take a walk down memory lane and talk about how I got to where I am today. Y'all, I moved to this great city with $3,000 to my name. Now I am filming this video because I have been getting a lot of questions under my video, how to move to LA with no money. If you have not seen that video, make sure you go and check it out. It's not what you think. So since I've been getting those questions, I wanted to share with you guys how I was able to move to LA with $3,000 to my name. So how did I do it? So first of all, LA was not my first big move. Backstory, I'm originally from Louisiana where I graduated from college, Northwestern State University with a bachelor's of science in theater and a concentration in performance and directing. Whew, that is a mouthful. But anyway, after that, I moved to South Jersey in 2016 to pursue a culinary degree at the Art Institute of Philadelphia, which is no longer a school. Anywho, that move helped me prepare for my move to LA, even though at the time I did not know what my next move would be. I thought I would be on the East Coast for a very long time, but your girl ended up here. But the biggest difference between my move to Jersey and my move to LA is that when I moved to LA, I wrote out my plan. So if you're looking to move to LA and you are on this video for information on how to do that, I have actually created a free worksheet for you guys that you can download and brainstorm your master plan for moving to LA. This worksheet includes the steps that I personally took to make me successful in my move. So I think it would be cool if you downloaded it and used it to follow along with today's video. All you have to do is click the link in the description box to get your copy. So with that being said, here are the steps I took to move here with what some may call a little bit of change in my pocket. Number one, I figured out why I was moving. It's not new information on this channel, but I moved out to Los Angeles because I wanted to pursue my acting career. And God is good because your girl is already pursuing it. And even though you can get your start elsewhere as an actress, I decided that LA was the place that I wanted to be. Having a reason for living here was the number one reason I was able to make it work as long as I have. And I've been out here for four years now. Number two is I decided on a date to move. I have always been a planner, y'all. I actually created a dream book when I was in elementary school and I said that I was gonna move to LA when I got out of college and that's exactly what your girl did. So after I graduated from culinary school, I made a plan. I said in early 2018, I would move to LA. Now I didn't pick an exact date at that time and it wasn't until I actually moved back home to start saving money that I chose my exact date. So I decided on February 1st, 2018 and I booked my plane ticket and then there was no going back. Number three is I brainstormed what I wanted to do for work. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I used to do brand ambassador work and that is how I was able to fund my lifestyle when I first moved out to LA. So if you're unfamiliar with BA work, it's basically working events for random brands for money. Experiential marketing is what it's called. So I would work at the LA Convention Center, games, parades, concerts. I even worked at grocery stores and in casinos, y'all. I was a Patron girl. That was one of my favorite jobs. But it was great money. It paid my bills and it kept my schedule flexible so I could audition and attend acting classes. So I started being a brand ambassador back in college, actually. My line sister, Lacey, introduced me to the BA life and I was instantly hooked after my first job. So I decided that this is exactly what I would do while I was in LA as well. So if you are looking for ways to make money in LA, I do have a video showcasing some of my favorite ways that I used when I first moved out here. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, little did I know, the BA work in LA was booming. It was way better than in Louisiana. And I honestly would say this was one of the best moves for me. So after deciding on a date, I got on BA websites and I looked for gigs and started applying. I actually had 
my first gig two days after moving to LA and it was actually with Delta Airlines and we built a playground which was a super dope event and from there I just networked with other BAs that were there and I learned the LA BA hustle. Golly, say that three times fast. LA BA hustle, LA BA hustle, LA BA. Actually, it's pretty easy. Anyways, brand ambassador work is what funded my lifestyle all the way up until COVID. But after COVID is when I decided to start doing ship. That's why you saw so many ship videos on my channel because events were canceled. And then I began to focus more on my YouTube channel. The fourth way I was able to move to LA with $3,000 was I searched for a cheap Airbnb for my first month out here. So now I have a date and I have a plan to make money when I get to LA. Now it's time for me to find a place to stay. So I wanted to be close to public transportation since I would not have a car when I moved out here. I have a car now, but I didn't at the time. So after doing some research, I saw that Koreatown was a great place to move into if you are moving to LA for the first time. So I found an Airbnb that was close to Koreatown that was as cheap as possible, y'all. And they were pretty expensive for what I thought they would be, but I ended up paying about $1,200 for a month and my plan was to use that that first month of living in the Airbnb to find an apartment. Now, this Airbnb wasn't the nicest. It was completely bare bones and it had like 20 rooms. So there wasn't a full kitchen as well. And it had like a kitchen, it had a few kitchenettes throughout this huge house. So I would just say that these things added up to my motivation to make sure that I was out of that Airbnb in a month because it really felt like communal college living. It was not what I expected for my life, but it was great for my first month out in LA. Number five is I made a basic budget and I figured out how much money I would need. Now that I knew how much it would cost for me to move to LA and stay in LA for the first month, I needed to make a basic budget to make sure that I didn't end up on the street. So my one-way plane ticket was free with Southwest because I had racked up enough points, but I think it was like $80 one way. The Airbnb was $1,200 out of my pocket and I needed money for transportation and food. I estimated that my transportation and food would be about $500 for the month. So I knew I needed at least $1,700. So let's just round that up to $2,000 for the first month. Then I knew I would need money for a deposit on an apartment and first month's rent. Since I didn't have an idea of where I would be staying, I used my Airbnb as a gauge for my future rental payments, which Honestly, y'all, I shouldn't have done that because my apartment rent ended up being $17.50 a month, which I did end up splitting with a partner at the time, but the entire deposit for that apartment and first month's rent came from me directly, which was around $3,500. And I was only able to cover this because I truly hit the ground running with the BA work. Y'all, I was working like every day and I had a couple of hefty paychecks coming through that first month. Now you can definitely find cheaper apartments than what I had. Ours was newly renovated and it was just so cute that I could not pass it up. But if I really needed to because of my budget, I could have found a cheaper one. I actually vlogged that experience way back in 2018. So if you guys could see that, this is the video right here and you can view it on my channel. But I can't really give you guys specific numbers as far as how much I spent versus the budget itself because it was so long ago and I was just hustling. But my budget for the first month was $2,000. And after that, I budgeted no more than $2,500 a month and ended up going over that in March because I didn't expect my new apartment's deposit to be one month's rent. Number six is I made a plan or a timeline for my first month in LA and what month two would bring. Now, y'all, I did all this research and planning prior to me even moving to LA and that was a game changer. I made a timeline to hold myself accountable and keep myself on track. So my timeline looked a little something like this. In February, 2018, my goals were to move to LA, work BA jobs at least five days a week, and search for apartments under $1,500 a month. Obviously, I found an apartment that was $1,750 a month, but hey, I consider that a win. March 2018, my goals were to move into the new apartment, secure long-term BA events, which I did. I began working with Metro PCS, which I worked with for about two years, so that was clutch. And then month number three, April, look for acting classes and agents. But y'all, I personally think that 
I moved kind of slow with my goals, but as I look back, I was hustling, hustling. Like, I'm so proud of myself for everything that I accomplished. Moving out to LA with $3,000 to my name. I think the key to moving out to LA with a little bit of money is to have a solid plan, to make sure you have more money coming in and have an idea of where you want to see yourself in a week, a month, a year. That's what truly motivated me to keep going and knowing why I was in LA, having a feasible plan, and being determined to get it done by any means means. I think the most draining part about this entire process of moving to LA and having a little bit of money is when I did not know my next move because then I began to worry, get a little bit stressed out, panic, but then I quickly remembered about the God that I serve and I reminded myself that he will always make a way. Amen. Look, now let me take y'all to church up in here because I definitely will because my God is good. Now I know that I just gave you guys a very basic overview of how I moved to LA with $3,000, but I cannot stress it enough how important a plan is. So as I've already said, I have made a worksheet for you to follow along to this video and really write out all of your ideas, your timeline, and a plan for moving to LA with $3,000, $5,700 or whatever your budget is or the amount of money that you have. This worksheet is completely free and I just wanna help you guys have a plan so that when you're out here in LA and you're feeling stressed and discombobulated, you can pull this piece of paper out, read it to yourself and remind yourself who you are and push through the hard times because pressure makes diamonds, y'all. Now, make sure you give this video a like if you liked it and if you love what you see here on my channel, hit that subscribe button down below and join the family because I keep it real raw and regular over here. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get all of the alerts anytime your girl posts any new content about about living out here in Los Angeles. If you guys have any questions about anything mentioned in this video, as always, put them down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.